Hello lovelies! Today I am here with Josh who recently turned into a dragon, so check out his channel, Josh Book Dragon. <laughs> it was an accident. Sometimes you just accidentally turn into a dragon. It happens. Today we are doing the book scenarios tag, and this was created by Lindsay Hart's Books. I will link to the original video in the underbar. And that's all. Read the first question. Go. You have to get rid of all of your books and you can only keep one from each of these genres. Contemporary, fantasy, nonfiction, and one other genre of your choosing. What books do you keep? I don't really know what classifies as contemporary. Me neither. I'm what? just saying realistic fiction. Yeah, that works. I will keep uh, something by Woodhouse. Doesn't really make a difference. They're all the same book. I will keep Right Ho Jeeves. Uh, fantasy was next? Yeah. Hard. Can I count a series as one book? That's what I'm doing. Then I'll keep Del Toro Quest and I'll borrow his Harry Potter books. And uh, no, I ain't giving them out. What's the next genre? Nonfiction. Do I have any nonfiction that I care about? I will keep my scriptures. <laughs> um, my complete works of William Shakespeare. Plays. I guess this is my genre. Contemporary, the new bind up of the Ramona and Visa series. Because. Those books are my childhood. Fantasy! The new bind up of the Harry Potter series. And for nonfiction, my religious scriptures. Genre of my choosing, I am choosing high fantasy. That's my genre, and I'm choosing Throne of Glass. The new bind up of that series. <laughs> You're at the bookstore and you hear a teenager telling their mom they don't like to read, but their mom insists they pick something. You walk over and recommend a book you think is great for people who aren't big on reading. What book is it? say probably Hunger Games or Divergent. Those tend to work with people who don't like reading very much, so yeah. Those. I would probably just recommend Harry Potter and be like, don't listen to the hype, just try reading it and you'll really get into it. Number three, you're not feeling yourself and need a pick-me-up. What book do you read to put yourself in a great mood? Anything by Woodhouse. I have the Woodhouse books narrated by Jonathan Cecil, and if it's a really bad day, I just listen to those and they're the best thing ever. Or I'll reread the Del Toro Quest series. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Slash Sorcerer's Stone because that book is fabulous. And even though there's like some darkness in it, it's just a super happy book. So, yes. Okay. 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 You go back in time for a day to your teenage years. We're actually going to do you go back in time five years because Josh. You go back in time five years. What book would you most likely have caught yourself reading? Probably the Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket and the Ramona and Visa series by Beverly Cleary. I think I was going through kind of a highbrow phase. Lots of Shakespeare and Jane Austen, and I think that's the year I read the biography of Marco Polo. Like, I, I went through a weird, like, classics, reading intelligent books to look intelligent, but also because they're fun. <laughs> Your friend surprises you with a four-day trip, and you have one hour to pack. Which book do you bring to read on the way? Whatever I happen to be reading at the time, I'm most likely in the middle of something or about to start something, so I just bring that. Right now it would be The Wizard of Rondo, so I'm not really, because that's a library book. Check down on Josh's card, so that probably would be a good idea. Well, yeah, I agree with that, whatever I'm reading at the time. If it was a short trip that ended before June 22nd, I would bring my library book, The Kids of Deception by Mary Ann Peterson. Your house has been robbed! Don't worry, everyone's safe, but your bookshelf has been raided. What's the book you really hope is safe? First of all, I wouldn't let anybody steal my books because they broke into your house. If they did, I would find them and I would kill them. That's the Taken movie I want to see. <laughs> no, I will find you and I will kill you. And I will, there, there will be no mercy, and I won't be caught because I'm just that good. You just confessed on camera. But the books that I'm really hoping are safe are my Harry Potter collection, because I couldn't live without those, and I only have 25. Is it bad that I have a books are replaceable mentality? I have an entire list of all of my books, and if some of them are stolen, I can replace them. I don't feel like I have any super duper special books. I just, I don't have like a really special copy. Like if I had a signed copy I really cared about, or an advanced reader's copy or something, I would really care, but I just don't have any irreplaceable books. 
Your friend borrows a book and returns it in awful condition. Do you A, just pretend you haven't noticed, B, ask them to repurchase it, or C, secretly do the same thing to something of theirs? So I actually had this happen. My friend dropped one of my books in the bathtub. And I kind of just gave her a hard time about it. Like, really, really. And then I just kind of dropped it, because whatever. I would want to do B and ask them to replace it, but I don't think I have the courage to do that, so I would just pretend that I didn't notice. We don't tag people because we're lazy, but if while watching this you think I would like to do that tag, please do and let us know. Post your video in the comments and we will check it out. That's it for this tag. Thanks for watching and happy reading. Turn it off. Bye!